I've had a lifelong interest in birds, and Jean Stratton Porter wrote five different books on birds, so we have a lot of her bird photographs uh, on hand. And to use equipment as primitive as that, and to take a picture of something that you have absolutely no control over, you know, if it's going to sit still, or if it's going to do something interesting, or if the lighting's right, uh, it just seemed like a, an interesting challenge, I guess. So we have the exact model that she had inside her restored uh, darkroom. And instead of having a roll of film, it would have one four inch by five inch glass plate. And you would have to expose each of those glass plates individually, then take them in, develop them and dry them. And then you'd have to put them in an enlarger and uh, enlarge the, the negative image into a positive image on a piece of paper. On my first body, um, which I had for about three years, I checked the shutter count actuations and it was over 100,000 photographs I had taken in about two and a half to three years. And that's the one advantage digital photographers have over Gene was we could take a thousand pictures and call it down to one because we can just take shot after shot after shot where she would have to plan hers very, very carefully. And that's why I say I still haven't achieved her level. They all have individual stories and things like that. I think the one I recently took of a short-eared owl with its prey um, flying down in southern Indiana is one of my favorites because it's, uh, it's very dramatic and it kind of shows, um, you know, that nature is very kind and very harsh at the same time. I really only bird three areas, and that's northeastern Indiana. And during spring migration, which is only about two weeks long, I'll go to uh, the McGee Marsh area, which is just outside of Toledo on Lake Erie. And then one of my other favorite places to go is uh, Goose Pond, uh, which is down in Linton, Indiana, in Greene County. And that's pretty far in the southwestern part of the state. I draw inspiration from photographers of all levels. I've seen some novice photographers take phenomenal photographs just with point and shoot cameras because sometimes it's not really about how much money you spend on your equipment it's just the chance and that's the beautiful thing about birds is that you never know what they're going to do. Uh, one piece of advice I'd give to anybody that's interested in, in learning about bird photography is uh, go on a nature walk um, like at Pokagon State Park every Sunday they have a nature walk and work with one of the naturalists to learn about bird behavior and invariably you'll meet people who are photographing birds and then just ask a lot of questions. I think one of the best things that's come of my birding experiences is that everybody is very willing to share. Um, they're excited about what they're doing and there are no bad questions, no wrong questions. And by asking a lot of questions, you can save yourself a lot of money because if you do get involved in high-end bird photography, the equipment's very expensive and so you don't want to buy a $9,000 lens if you can get away with one that's a couple hundred dollars.